All right, and over here in section 10, lot 95, we are coming up to the gravesite of one Charles Howard Wright, born on September 20th of 1918 and dying on March 7th of 2002. Not much is known about the Wright family, but what is known is that they are the founding family of the Museum of African American History located over on Warren Avenue in Detroit in the Museum District. So and the museum's been around for a good number of years. I personally have not been there, but there's a lot of history to be known over there, so. All right, we are coming up to the gravesite of uh, Julian G. Dickinson, born on November 20th of either 1843 or 1844, and dying on January 11th of 1916. He was the brevetted captain of Company I of the 4th Michigan Cavalry. Now, the interesting thing about the 4th Michigan Cavalry is that his detachment was in charge of uh, capturing Confederate President Jefferson Davis on May 10th of 1865 at Wolcott Mills on the outskirts of on the outskirts of uh, Macon, Georgia. Now there's not much else inform information I have on Julian Dick Dickinson, is, but what I do know is that he served in the American Civil War and was a breveted captain of Company I of the 4th Michigan Cavalry. And here's his gravesite over here, which we were just at a moment ago. Here's his official uh, Civil, or Civil War marker right there, which is usually donated by um, the veterans of ours pretty much. And here's his family marker right there. And right here, you probably already guessed, is his monument of the Dickinson family. So it goes all the way up to the top there. All the way to the bottom. All right, we are in section U, lot C of Elmwood Cemetery. Coming up to the gravesite of one, David George. Born, it is unknown when he was born and it was, it's unknown when he died. But coming up to this name right here, John D. George, that might represent David George. Um, so it appears he might have been born in 1867 and I can't make out the numbers after the 19 right there. Anyway, uh, David George was a songwriter whose works included, but was not limited to, the song The Wreck of Old 97. The Wreck of Old 97 which was written around the year 1900. Um, so that song would be about over about 109 years old right now, being that it's 2009. So and there's the monument. It appears that he's buried with several relatives of his. So and that concludes this part. All right, once again, we are in section L, this time in lot 41, coming up to the gravesite of James a. Abbott. Abbott. His birthday and his death date are unknown to me at the time because if you look at, his gra at the grave markers of him and his wife, they are barely legible, meaning they are barely readable. Anyway, James Abbott was the Detroit Postmaster General and Justice of the Peace between the years 1806 and 1831. One of the other things that's one of the other interesting thing things that are known about about James Abbott is that he is the uncle of the painter, the well-known painter, James Abbott McNeil Whistler. Now, McNeil, now J, the painter James Abbott is, um, I believe, he was the one that painted Whistler's mother. One of the a well-known painting. 
that is was painted back in the day back probably in the 1800s or something like that so here he um, James Abbott is his uncle and over here in section U again in lot 34 we are coming up to the gravesite monument of uh, James H. Pound Sr. He was a British soldier wounded at the Battle of New Orleans during the War of 1812. Um, there's not much else information I have about him other than what it says in, my, in the book I have, Elmwood Endures, History of a Detroit Cemetery by Michael S. Frank, I think. I'm not too sure about the first name. Anyways, there's about there's two James H. Pounds buried in this plot. There's this one right here, who uh, was born on August 27th of 1852 and died in on February 22nd of 1928. Then there's also this one right here, James H. Pound, born on 1830 and dying in 1906. Now, um. What I'm trying to figure out is that I'm, I'm going to probably go with the one listed on the monument for being the pound, the James H. Pound that I'm looking for because because he was he was in the battle of the War of 1812 in the New Orleans battle, but the dates on the monument and the grave marker right there are wrong, so I'm going to go with the closest one right here of 1830. Being that sometimes that being that sometimes the dates and years are some are uh, usually incorrect in some cases on the mount on the mon on the monuments and grave markers. So being that that one was born in 1830, it could possibly could have possibly have been in the 1700s or 18 late 18th century, which would have been in the 1700s. So I'm going to probably stick with this name right here and go with that. All right, we are in section B, lot Q of Elmwood Cemetery. Coming up to the gravesite of uh, one Reverend Samuel Smith Harris. Born on September 14th of 1841 and dying on August 21st of 1888. Samuel Harris was the Episcopal, Episcopal Bishop of Michigan in 1879. Before becoming the Episcopalian Bishop of uh, Michigan, Samuel Harris was uh, served in the American Civil War under as a major under Major General Bragg of the Confederate Army. Um, he's also the great granddaughter, great grandfather of actress Julie Harris. I have no idea who that might be, but I'm gonna have to research who Julia Harris actually is. The name does not sound familiar to me, but nonetheless, he is the great grandfather of actress Julia Harris, and he served as major under the under the direction of Major General. Braxton Bragg of the Confederate Army during the American Civil War. So here's his grave. So